Hello programmers, welcome to another exciting Android Studio tutorial. In today's tutorial, we will see how to implement the newly launched Android's Media 3 Exo Player in your Android Studio project. So, let's get started. I will now demonstrate what we are about to create in this video. In this demo app, I have implemented a full screen method to provide an immersive video view. This player also comes with Exo Player's default controller including subtitle and audio change features, if applicable. I have added immersive mode by hiding the navigation bar from the system and the status bar using code. There are not many changes from ExoPlayer that already exist in another library, but it's always recommended to use the latest release. Google recommends all developers to migrate to Media 3 from ExoPlayer as early as possible. Everything you will need is already provided as a link in the description of this video. So, let's create a new project and start our coding for today. So, your new project is ready. First, we will request internet permission from the user. It's always a good idea to start with the Android manifest because sometimes LogCat won't notify if there are no permissions requested. The next thing you have to do is set the orientation as landscape so the video will be horizontal for viewers. Next, we will set up the logo for our app to differentiate it from other apps. We will add few styles to our app. Remember this code is important to make your app partial immersive mode. Full immersive will work once you add certain codes in your main activity. First, you have to upgrade your SDK to latest release. In 2024, while recording this video, latest SDK is Android 14, so I choose Android 34. Next, it's time to add the Media 3 ExoPlayer dependency. Once added, press the sync button. Remember to keep the dependency up to date to benefit from bug fixes in the latest releases. Previously, we had two players. One is player view, and the other is styled player view. In some cases, Google likely conducted analytics and found that many developers preferred the styled player view. Hence, they modified the player view code and gave us the styled exo player as the default in this Media 3 release. Now in code view, you have to declare the player view and exo player. Next, we will try to add immersive code for our player. For this tutorial, I use a hard-coded MP4 video to ExoPlayer. I have added the sample GitHub link in description. Don't forget to add clear traffic toggle as true, but personally, I wouldn't recommend setting this to true in a live application. Make sure all your URLs are using HTTP instead of HTTP. 
For testing purposes, it's okay. This code plays an important role in bringing immersive mode to your Android app. The code link I have added in the description. To save video time, I have been copy-pasting it from the Android documentation site. With this, your entire app will work in full immersive screen mode. So let's test the app now. Great! App Immersive is working perfectly. However, you can't see anything because ExoPlayer is not initialized yet. Now it's time to add main ExoPlayer codes. Let's do it.
Once done, it's time to check the app. Let's proceed in building app. Sorry, I forgot to record the audio. The problem here is that the video is not filling the entire screen. Additionally, the video continues to play when the user exits or minimizes the app. This is not the behavior we want, so let's fix that. To fix the issue of ghost audio playing, you can add on pause, on resume, and on user leave hint methods to instruct Android when to pause, play, and resume a video. Finally, in player view, add the attribute called resize mode and add it as fill mode to make it perfectly fill the entire screen. So you new media 3 powered exo player is now 100% ready for the show. Let's build and test it. The video is playing perfectly and it's already stretched to fill the entire screen correctly. It is not playing in the background. In the description, you will find the source code, demo APK, and if you're interested in learning how this works, I have provided all relevant codes so you can build your version of ExoPlayer. Finally, everything is perfect. If you found this video helpful, please share your thoughts by typing helpful in the comments and leaving a like. This will help me post more videos every Tuesday. Additionally, you can suggest topics for the next Tuesday's video in the comments. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. See you all in another awesome tutorial.